Sorry, okay. I'm say we're going Ignite fashion by doing slides that auto advance. So if you don't want to know what Ignite is, why are you here, right? Like if somebody told you, somebody said it's cool, come on. So I said, well, beer. Free beer. So yeah, thank you, Antoinette, for so what the hell is Ignite? Ignite is a public speaking event where everybody's got five minutes. You take the five minutes, you have 20 slides that auto advance after 15 seconds. The decks are here, the speakers are gonna be over there. So they have no control over what's happening. If they screw up, they screw up, and we raise our glasses to them. Um, <laughs> hopefully you guys drink a lot of beer, um, because I'll make it funnier. Boulder Me is in the house. Anybody from Boulder Me, raise your hand. <laughs> they are all looking to move to Boulder. Should they move to Boulder? Yeah. Um, community events. I put on a lot of community events. Bar Camp, Boulder Me, uh, this. We, we need to do more. Um, Robert Reichs with New Tech Meetup. Um, we need to keep supporting the community. It's awesome in Boulder. Let's keep it that way. Um, I love it here. The community projects, there's I volunteers going on, volunteer effort to make volunteering easier. Um, but there's a lot of community work going on. So meet people here, work with them, create brilliant things, and then drag here from Boulder. All right? Um, so that's it. Um, Ignite was born out of Seattle. Brady Forrest was uh, the originator, uh, kind of playing off of the Japanese art form. So it's about two years old. Boulder, this is our first one. Um, so we're gonna have 12 presenters, actually 13. Um, plus me makes 14, so we're not unlucky. Um, are we ready to start? Yeah! yeah. So geeks, beer, presenters, that's the thing, right? With that, we have Kevin Collins. Ignite thing, so I have no idea how this is going to go. I put my presentation together last night at about, I don't know, 9 o'clock, so let's see what happens here. So, oh, all right, cool. So, I, I heard this before. This is the year of mobile, right? Who's heard that before? How long have we heard that for? We've heard it since, oh, I don't know, about 1992. Um, here we can see uh, that thing that Danny's, is Danny here today? Danny's on. That was the Apple Newton, wasn't the Air Mobile. Okay, then we moved to the Palm Pilot, which came in 1996. Everybody remember the Palm Pilot? Yeah. 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 That was the Air Mobile, right? Not, not quite. It was kind of cool. You could do notes on there and stuff, but no. Let's move on to the next year. 19, 2000 was the Air Mobile. That's when Windows Mobile came out. David Cohen introduced me to Windows Mobile. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. The mobile Pro, uh, I don't know what it was, but I wrote an application for his company back then. That was my year of mobile. That's when I got to mobile. 2002 came the Blackberry. Blackberry's kicked ass. 2002 was definitely the year of mobile. We finally had push email, right? So everybody got a Blackberry in 2002. But there was a problem with the Blackberry. It was really geared towards salespeople. Off guys in the office, guys out selling cars. I like that. That's kind of the wrong demographic for a cell phone. A cell phone's really a personal kind of thing. It's like a watch, right? You want it to be kind of cool, a little bling bling, flashy. So this guy, 2007, we got Jesus phones. Everybody loves the Jesus phone, right? That was, yeah, I didn't get one of those, by the way. I got my reasons. Uh, 2007 was a great year for mobile, but it was not the year of mobile. And that's why, because the iPhone is too close. Boo, right? So it's close. You gotta have, you gotta have a, a, a Mac to develop. You gotta go through the ice. The store, you gotta be with singular, way too close. Now, next year we're gonna see Android come out in the market. Has everybody heard of Android? Yeah, yeah. yeah. 2009, is that the year for sure? No. With Android? It's out now. It's out now, but like, we're not gonna really see it until next year. I don't know, it's close, it's better, but it's still not quite there. We're gonna see Android. Android's gonna be sold at Walmart, right? So now, a bunch of people are going to be walking around with Android phones. That's a good thing. Price point is going to come down, but we're still not quite there yet. Uh, this is just a random. I had to have 20 slides on it. <laughs> Android picture. I don't. Know, I think I saw some Mashable today. I just threw it in there. <laughs> So um, right now we've got really cool mobile applications. We've got Bright Tiny. We've got Tiny Twitter. Yeah. I wrote Tiny Twitter. Come on. Um, and we've got great apps like this lighter thing that lights on your iPhone. I don't know. Yeah. Exactly. Interesting. So the problem with mobile applications is the price point. That's my great little graph there. 
starts at four, four bones and goes down to zero bones. Basically, you put an app out, you sell it for $4, some guy comes in and sells it for three, price point goes down to zero. That's the problem with applications. The other problem with um, mobile today, there's a lot of stuff here, but the one thing that's important is that 0.15, that's, how, that's the percentage of the iPhone, of the whole market that, that's iPhone. So, <laughs> so the problem. So what? When we're really going to get the real the mo year of the mobile is when we have Web 2.0 on the mobile. So mobile Web 2.0. We've already got a great benchmark. That's Web 2.0. So what made Web 2.0 work? It was Ajax. It was doing cool stuff in the client with JavaScript. It was doing stuff in the background with asynchronous calls. Flash helped get us to Web 2.0. So we really need something like that in the mobile world. So in mobile, we've had flashlight for a while. It's pretty much sucked. I don't know why. It's pretty good, actually, but it hasn't, for some reason, it hasn't gained traction. Uh, we're going to see Silverlight Mobile. That might help things move along. But what we really need is mobile Ajax in this sort of asynchronous caching some kind of mechanism. So who's best positioned to really take us to mobile 2.0? I, I don't think it's Apple. I think it's Google. And why Google is because they know how to do advertising. That's what's really going to drive the mobile market, the mobile advertising. <laughs> Who else is really well positioned? Microsoft. Ooh. Now, Microsoft is really well positioned in the mobile space because of Windows. They have this huge leverage in this user base that they can use, and they've got a lot of dollars to buy, basically buy, basically buy people, right? Um, that's not what I meant to say. Not buy people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's, who's the real winners when we get mobile 2.0? It's you, it's me, it's my kids, because we're going to be able to do really cool stuff on mobile phones that are inexpensive that we all can use.